In response to teachers trying to jam-pack equations into relatable word problems, one of the classic clapbacks to mathematics is, when am I gonna need this? Well, let me explain. The abstract parts that will never be used are precisely the parts that they don't teach you. The beautiful parts that you didn't know you want to see aren't the parts that benefit economy. Take an upper line from zero to infinity. Guess what? There's an upper above zero. It's called imaginary because it doesn't exist. Well, except for its use in quantum physics. Welcome, my friend, to the second dimension. But why stop there? Well, I have your attention. You want to see the shadow of a 4D cube? It's called a tesseract and it was in the Avengers. But why stop here? That's such a funny number. We can climb all the way to the eighth dimension. Did you know many numbers are eight dimensional? They're called the Aptonians. They're Incomprehensible. They form a structure called the E8 lattice, a very mysterious geometric apparatus. Some people think it holds the keys to the answers of life, the universe, and everything. While we're here, here's a fun fact about eight dimensional hyperspheres. If you were a pirate doing cannonball stacking, what's the best way to do 8D packing? As it turns out, we proved in practice to set them all up in an E8 lattice. If you're like me, you might be wondering what do 8D numbers have to do with cannonballs? I have no idea. Maybe it's the voice of God. <laughs> no, seriously. The E8 lattice related to the monster at 200. Thousand dimensional entity existing within the realms of geometry, the most mysterious mathematical discovery. Allow me to quote some words from its creators, Simon P. Norton and John H. Conway. It's got too many properties for it to be an accident. It's never been explained why it's even there, and it's obviously not there just by coincidence. And my personal favorite, I can explain the monster in just one sentence. It is the voice of God. The abstract parts that will never be used are precisely the parts that they don't teach you. The beautiful parts that you didn't know you want to see aren't the parts that benefit economy. The abstract parts that will never be used are precisely the parts that they don't teach you. The beautiful parts that you didn't know you want to see aren't the parts that benefit economy.